We're going to do it. We're going to open up this here box of Ravnica Legions. We're going to open this all pretty luck. We're going to try and see what we can get our hands on. Ugh. Wanna go to Value Town. That's the whole point of doing this nonsense. We want the dope pools. That's all we want. So start off dope pools. We're gonna move this over here actually. See what we get. Pack one. Forget the commons, nobody cares about the commons. Alright. Amplifier. Not a horrible card to start with, it's an okay card. At the beginning you have keep reveal cards on top of your library until you reveal a creature card until your next turn amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power and base toughness becomes twice that card's base toughness. Why wouldn't you just lump that into one? Put the revealed card on the bottom of your library in random order. So that's cool, I guess. You hear my dogs? They whining. That's all they want to do. And a thrash and threat. Alright, so still, that was basically nothing. Because those split cards, they don't do crap. They don't do nothing good. Alright, getting through to the good stuff. And, see, it's because I'm saying stuff about them. They're just going to keep popping up. Watch. I'm going to get like four split cards in a row. Because, you know, that's how this stuff works. All right. Going through. And I am mad about that. That's actually pretty cool. I have three now, which means that I'm close to making whatever standard, modern, whatever kind of deck I want to play with him that much more viable because he's actually not a horrible card because you don't actually have to adept him you can just you can play like one of those uh it's like the third one i've got i'm not mad about it I'm not mad about it you can play one of those spells that gives target creature a plus one plus one counter it doesn't even give him a lot of them it just gives him one i think there's one in the format right now that does it for one green and it also gives it reach until the end of turn so if your opponent has a flyer, they're going to attack. You get some combat tricks that also pay off and get you another one. And we got that breeding pool, boy. That's the first shock land of the box. And we're just going to go ahead and keep going through to see what else we get. We're trying to go at a quick pace because my camera likes to do this thing where it just, uh, it just rams it right in my butt. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Rampage of the Clans, it's an RA card, nothing great. We're just gonna keep going through. Go ahead and crack this bad boy. We're trying to go through quick. I know y'all don't wanna be here forever. I don't want you here forever. Quite frankly, I would rather not even get hit with the ads so y'all don't gotta see it. Unbreakable formation. And we're gonna kinda keep going. Have I not? I've not gotten a foil yet, guys. Not a single one. This is kinda lame. I'm not appreciating it. I would uh, rather have gotten at least one foil by now, but you know, no foils is cool too. That card's shit. Oop. I keep going through. We need to get some good stuff. So far we've only gotten one of the shock lands, and I believe like one card that's worth more than five bucks. See our first foil, which is nothing. That card's garbage too. Whatever. Lockets are lockets. We'll take them. Gives you mana. Gives you cards. They're a locket. If you play commander, they're a good card to have in it. It's not the worst. All right, getting to more of these uncommons, and there's our second, our second shock land. Shock. We're gonna keep going. The goal is to get as many shock lands as we did in the mythic edition. We pulled four shock lands in the Mythic Edition, and we never turned back. We're pretty good. And Mass Manipulation. Still have not hit a Planeswalker yet. I've opened a bunch of Ravnica Allegiance and still have not seen a Planeswalker come by yet. And there's three of them. 
You got the Orzov Usurper, you got the little Gruel Boy, and you got Dovin, which is garbage, but whatever. Dovin doesn't know what he wants to be priced at. He's like somewhere around $9, and he doesn't know whether or not he wants to go up or down. But, whatever. I'm gonna keep seeing what we got going on. Move through all this crud. And Hero Precinct 1. I'm actually a fan of this card. I'm buying play sets of them because I think they're gonna go up in value. Especially in, uh, in Commander. Just because there's a lot of multicolored spells and they're gonna do well. Especially like if you're playing any multicolored spell, a black and white spell at all, like Kaya's Wrath for instance, it pings off. Even though it destroys all creatures, the trigger will still go and you'll still get the 1-1 one, one human creature token after that goes. And we got a foil sender vines. That's right, boys and girls. Our second foil is a foil rare. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. I'm happy with it. Couldn't be more happy. We're gonna keep going and seeing what else we got going on. Go over to the Savage Smash. Open it up savagely. We're gonna savagely smash this pack for value. Not how this works at all. It's like a lottery. We all know this. And a hollow fountain. So that is our third shockland for the pack. We've gotten two foils. One of them being a foil rare. It's Cinder Vines, which like whatever. It's okay. I don't really know if that's gonna get a lot of play. It's more of like a gruel control card, which is kind of funny to see. Maybe we'll see some Jund or some uh, some weird color control. Theater of Horrors. It's the second one I've opened of those. I'm pretty happy about that. I actually like the cards because it exiles the top card of your library and during your turn, if an opponent lost life, you may play cards exiled with uh, Theater of Horrors. So basically every single turn, you get to start stacking cards on there. It's like another draw. And as long as you can get a little bit of damage through to your opponent, the value is there. Value, town, and a Sphinx of Foresight. And a Foil Humongous. Whatever. The Sphinx of Foresight is dope because if you get it in your opening hand, um, you can uh, you can scry the top three cards of your library, which is really helpful. Um, it's kind of a, a callback to, I forget what the hell they were, but um, there was a bunch of cards, I believe in Frexia, where if you, uh, that's what I'm going to go back, if you reveal it in your opening hand and a foil, Pharaoh Maka. If you, op if you reveal it from your opening hand, you get some kind of crazy effect. I think uh, Chancellor of the Grove was one of the better ones because you just got like three green mana to start off your your first turn, which was kind of a big fucking push. It was kind of situational though, but it was pretty good. Uh, Incubation Jude and a foil Wilderness Reclamation. I'm going to hold on to that myself. That's a dope card. If you don't know what Recre uh, Wilderness Reclamation does, um, it's going to get banned is what it does. But first and foremost, it untaps all of your land at your end step. So you can do a lot with that. Incubation Druid in and of itself is a pretty good card. Zero two, tap it to add one mana of any color that your uh, land that you control could produce. If it has a plus one plus one counter on it, you add three instead, and you could adapt it. You could adapt three it for five mana, so that's pretty cool. Uh, once again, though, you just plug it with a tiny little spell that gives it plus one plus one for like one mana. Tithe Taker, that's a good card too. I like Tide Taker because basically what it does is it makes shocks cost one more, makes uh, basically anything cost one more. Activate cost. Your... Alright, so spells your opponents cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponents activate cost one more to activate unless they're mana abilities. So that's pretty cool. That means that all of that, uh, that adept stuff kind of gets a little bit more tricky when he's out there. Tide Taker. You gotta love the Wars Off Syndicate. Alright, so going in, we got a Ravager Worm. I like him a lot. I think he's pretty cool. Because uh, when he enters the battlefield, he does some stuff. What stuff do you ask? Well, he either destroy or fights target creature you don't control, which is pretty much destroying, or destroy target land with an activated ability that isn't a mana ability. So pretty much all of those the land cycles from like Dominaria that like you can sacrifice 
to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he gets rid of all those, so that's kind of cool. Go over to the uncommons. All right, Throat Mystic. I think that card's great as well. And another Judith. I'm not super upset about the Judith. We got one in our uh, Mythic Edition pack opening, so that was kind of cool. Going into this next one, we'll see what else we got. I'm just not too thrilled about a magic card being called the Diva. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, we got a mythic. What is this one? Uh, Mesmerizing Be Thinned. When it enters the battlefield, create two zero two illusion creature tokens with whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Uh, it has hexproof as long as you control an illusion. So that's kind of cool. Creates two things, blocks some stuff. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh no, my camera's getting all messed up. Had to take a short intermission to fix the camera and to also answer my phone, which is also the camera. But we're gonna try and get right back into this and get as much of this done as possible. All right, so going through again, going just to the end comments. Lumbering Battlement. We're gonna keep cracking these packs. Crack, crack, cracking these packs, crack, crack, cracking these packs. Ugh. Cracking these packs like I'm special. So we're actually gonna one, two, three, two, three. Yeah. Alright, cool. No foil in there. And Rixmandy Reveler. Pretty good card. I don't know if that takes longer if the regular way of just shuffling through the comments. We're just gonna keep back to our old ways of, yeah. And, pretty sure we're starting to hit the duplication point during this box. I think we already got one of those Nikita of the old ways or whatever the hell her name is, Nikia. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already got one, but, uh, We'll see what we got going on. And Gruel Spellbreaker. That's a good card. It basically gave a lot of people the idea of uh, Gruel Control, but like Gruel Control, the basis of it only works during your turn. So, like counter spells that are countering your spells, I guess? I don't know. And we got our first Planeswalker. We got Kaya. This is actually the first one that I've seen. So, so far in this pack, we got one foil rare. I believe two mythics now, one being a planeswalker. We're gonna look through and see if we got any other mythics. No, we did got three. There's a Ravager Worm. Did we get anything else? Any other foil mythics so far? Cause we still got about a third of the box left. All right, so we still got a third of the box left. We got three mythics. Uh, three shock lands and one foil rare. Although it's a cinder vine, so it doesn't really feel like a foil rare now, does it? Let's see what we get going on in here. And it's a split card, so that means it's nothing. It means nothing to us. It's garbage. Gotta try and see what else we get. Let's hope we get one more. I want a Dovin. I don't even really know why I want a Dovin. I just do. I think he's a funny little guy. And a Seraph of the Scales, that's a good card. So that is four Mythics for this box so far. It looks like the, the amount of Mythics that you're getting per box is up a little bit. Cause it used to be like, what, you get like two Mythics per box, something like that. Now I'm over here pulling like four in just this one box, but it's just this one box. We'll see what else we get. And Deputy of Detention. That card's gonna go up a little bit, I feel like. Especially because Commander plays fun. But also because it's non-legendary, so you can stack a couple of them up in your deck and see what's good. Ooh, we got a foil in this pack. I don't know what it is. It's a gold card, so we'll see. It might be nothing. Got another Absorb. And a Fireblade Artist. I'll go ahead and throw that up with the rest of the foils. My organizational skills is garbage, as y'all can tell. So, tokens, guild gates, actual cards that you guys care about, rares, 
ethics, and a bunch of foily boys up here. Yeah. All right, so we got three packs left. Go ahead and finish getting into it. I'm getting pretty good about pulling away just the commons. All right, Rhythm of the Wild, Aspire Mangler, Azure Skyguard, and a Plaza of Harmony. I'll take that plaza. A plaza of harmony. So if you control two or more gates, you get plus three life. And then uh, you can add one color of any type that a gate you control can reduce. They really want to push this gate sub theme going on in uh, this block. They have like that ram that gets plus one plus one for every gate that you have. Gutter bones. I love that card. And then what is this? We got ourselves another foil. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foils, four mythics, and three shock lands. I think this is a pretty good box. I'm not, I don't know if we've hit the value of the box, but uh, I think it's a pretty good box to say the least. Got a uh, Claymore Shaman, Reveling Ruin, Fireblade Artist. And come on, let's get a. Uh, there's a few cards back there still. So. Huh. Um. Bowman's is familiar. And Flame of the Razor Boar. Hell yeah. So the last pack did get us another foil. And it's a foil in common that's actually getting a lot of play right now. So going through. We got a few good cards. We got a bunch of split cards that so I'm not really super happy about or whatever. But what it seems like we've done here is built the basis for a decent little Simic deck. Or at least have some cards for it. So I'm not mad about it. I'm super happy about this Kaya. Because now after the uh, Mythic Edition opening, that means I now have two of them. So that's cool. I can do something with that. Throw one in a commander deck somewhere. Throw one. See if I can't play a little bit of standard uh, Orzhov control. I don't know. We'll see where it lands us. We'll see what it does. But until next time, guys, I thank you for tuning in, watching my whole video. Uh, please, for the love of God, like and subscribe, because your boy needs views. Appreciate it. Thanks.